Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series and in today's video we are going to be continuing on with our objectives and this time we are going to be creating a door that will open once the player actually has the key. Now if you've been watching the past few videos we, all, we already have the key inventory item set up it's all ready to go the player can collect it and now what I want to do is move on to actually creating the door in our scene that can be opened once the player has the key in their inventory. So there's going to be quite a bunch of a whole bunch of different elements to this. Uh, for example, we're going to have to create the door frame. We're then going to have to create a matinee sequence to actually open the door and animate it. And we're also going to have to create a little bit of script behind it. And what I might also do is, you know, create some kind of pop up for when the player doesn't have the key, just so they know that they need to go ahead and open the uh, collect the key, so they can actually gain entrance to the horror mansion of ours. So I'm also going to be doing some lighting stuff around the door as well so it's going to be red when they don't have entry and when they you know if they have unlocked it it's going to be like a light shade of green. It's going to look really cool there's loads of functionality that I've got planned and you know it's going to take a couple of videos to just hang on tight enjoy the video and let's get started. So don't worry if you don't have this little uh, frame that I've got here now we will be creating it in a couple of videos once we've actually finished creating the doors. Now as for the doors all of this can be found in the content browser as part of the you know the starter content so we can go ahead and create those so for now just create your doors anywhere you like because you can move them afterwards uh, for me I'm just gonna go ahead and add them in straight in here so go into your content browser go to starter content go to props and just go ahead and find the door and the door frame and then just go ahead and drag those into your scene just like that and because it's going to be a horror mansion we're going to have two doors which makes it a little bit more time consuming but it's definitely going to be worth it instead of dragging and dropping it if you want to get it to line up correctly just copy and paste the first door and then move it over just like that now there's one other thing I'm going to do with the door and it's because we don't have the door handles like this I'm just going to transform it and I'm going to mirror it on the y-axis I think it is there you are so I mean they're both backwards at the moment so you can just move it along like that and that's fine we've got our two doors set up and we also need to adjust our door frame now so that we can you know get it to they get the doors to fit in there so just go ahead and stretch that door frame out just like that and we have our doors now before we do go any further creating the matinee sequence and the code and everything you need to make sure that the player is actually going to be able to fit through the doors so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press play and I'm going to go ahead and find my uh, doors in the level so they should be all the way over here it's going to keep on running up to it and I'm just going to quickly walk up to the doors and see if I can actually walk through them and by the looks of things they are way too small at the moment so having said that I am going to need to scale it up a little bit so let's go ahead and do that so select all of the objects the door both doors and the frame and then just scale it up just like that there you are and you might have to adjust the frame as it's a little bit disproportionate go ahead and adjust that and we will try it again in just a second so I'm gonna make it a little bit wider and this time I'm just gonna go ahead and press play from here and that should you know start me in the level right next to the doors and there you are that is looking great the doors are about the right height for me and when we go ahead and open those hopefully just hopefully it should be working just fine we also need to put material on there which is really easy there is you know you can change it to a wood material if that's something that you want or you can leave it you know sort of as it is um, if you do want to add a material to it because it's the doors actually have have two materials one for the glass one for the other you've got to go into the details panel and set it up correctly so just go ahead and select a wood for example wood walnut go ahead and change material under door into that and then you'll have your wood sort of doors there and it will look nice and just leave the you know the rest how it is and you can do the same thing again with the frame you can make it wood you can do whatever you like to it but for now I'm just gonna leave it like that now next thing that I'm gonna do is we need to start working on you know how we're actually going to trigger the doors opening and in the same way as we did with the fires we are gonna be working with a trigger box and we've got to get that to cover the whole area of the door so we have got to go to volumes scroll all the way down to trigger volume and then just chuck it in front of the door frame just like this and we don't want it we need to make sure we spread it out nice and wide as well so it sort of starts to open just as they're walking towards the door and make sure that you keep it wide enough as well and to be honest you don't need it on the other side of the door so don't worry about that too much 
And there you are, just dragging in, just like that. Make sure you make it tall enough, just in case the player is jumping towards the door, so you don't have any issues that way. And hopefully, we've got our trigger volume here, it's covering the whole door, and that is working just fine. Now, we need to actually start working on the blueprint for this, so we can actually bring it to life. Um, so what we need to do is we need to open up the level blueprint once again and we've got to do the same kind of stuff as we did for the fire. So give it a second to load. While it is loading make sure you share the video, smack that like button, do all of that kind of stuff. And there you are, it's open. And we need to find another little blank space on here. We've got loads of script for our fire and let's do that. So right click on here and let's, you know, we've got to interact with the trigger volume. So we've got to go ahead and select the trigger volume, right click and add event for trigger volume 2, add on actor begin overlap and then from here we need to cast to the third person character as usual just so that we can actually communicate with the character rather than any other object and once that's done we are going to go ahead and do a quick little test so I'm just going to run a little print string just to make sure that our character is actually firing off the trigger volume outside the door so what I'm going to do go into my uh, world, play from here and hopefully when I run up to the door it should say hello in the top right and that is working fine. So now we can actually go ahead and you know add our script and our animations and that kind of stuff. So we're going to be doing all of that in anime, uh, not in anime, in matinee so we might as well get started. So once again create a new matinee actor. So create, uh, add new matinee give it a second to load up and let's start putting a few bits in there. So the first objects that we actually need to be movable are going to be the two doors. So select one of the doors and then right click in here, add a new empty group and just call this um, anything you like. So door one and then once again right click from that, add a new movement track. From here we can begin to animate it. So if we create two keyframes, one between one second, uh, one with zero seconds and one and one and a half seconds that will essentially open our door for us you know in one and a half seconds so both keyframes should be the same at the moment if you want to create the second keyframe just press enter and then drag it out with the second keyframe click it so it says adjust key movement in the bottom left and we actually need to set the doors position now to open so go ahead and do that you can open it in or out at the moment with the way the door set up you should only really need to you know just rotate it to get the movement that you need and that looks about open to me, that looks just fine and what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to press stop to go back to the beginning and I'm going to press play and you can see our door opening really really nicely for us. So what I need to do now is I just need to go ahead and add the second door in there. So once again add a new empty group and I'm going to call this door 2. And note down at the bottom there, it's changing the object to a movable automatically for us. So if it doesn't do that and you have any issues, just make sure you go ahead and click the object and where it says mobility here on the details panel, make sure you change that to movable. Once we've done that, we've got to do the same thing for this door, add a new movement track and create a second keyframe, move it to about a second and a half and then once again just rotate it so it's in the position that you want it to be in. And that's usually about 90 degrees to open it just like that. So press stop, play, and our doors are opening just fine. That is looking really, really nice. So, next thing that we need to do is we actually need to open up our level blueprint again. And we actually need to get this trigger box to actually fire off this matinee sequence. So go ahead and select that matinee sequence in your environment. Open this up and add add a call function for matinee actor 1, cinematic, press play and then just go ahead and hook this up just like that and hopefully now when the player actually walks up to the door it should open. Now keep in mind we still do need to add the functionality to get it to check to see whether or not the player has the key in the inventory um, but I mean that is something we're going to do in the next video it's going to be a bit more complicated but for now 
our door is opening for us and we can just walk straight through it and that is great so we got the main functionality down that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this video don't forget that you can play around with the materials the scaling and you can even use different objects just make sure that you animate it in the same kind of way and it will work great so thanks for watching make sure you comment like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video where we will be going over you know checking whether or not the player has the key in the ventry. Keep on creating guys, see you later.